Hello everybody. As I've mentioned before, the month of April was a very busy, busy month. And I would say especially also um, the end of the month leading into May. Um, yeah, I just had a lot going on. I can't believe it's already in the middle of May. Like, how is that even possible? And as I already mentioned back in one of my earlier vlogs, I had talked about how I was moving or had moved. So like, this was the deal. While I was in Switzerland, my family was moving and I was moving in with my grandparents, which is where I live now. So when I came back, and I still am having to do this, I've been going to my parents' house or to storage units and are <laughs> finding my things and pulling them out of storage just a little bit here and there, like books and clothes and whatnot that like didn't get brought here. I'm like, oh, I'm missing this and I'm missing that, you know. And I've also had to kind of relocate some things like my birth certificate and social security number, which actually wasn't very much a problem because I was pretty sure I knew where I had packed it up, you know, a little bit. I packed up the important things before I ventured off overseas. It's been kind of like a, um, challenge to get everything together and have all my ducks in a row again. Then, of course, there was the business of my sister. She moved to Oregon um, at the end of April, which uh, was really kind of hard. Uh, and she's been really enjoying it up there. Um, she's getting ready to go gardening and farming and stuff. It's still kind of warming up a little bit. Whereas down here, summer's already arrived and it's like 95 degrees outside. <laughs> but yeah, she's all the way on the other side of Oregon. I really can't believe that because she's staying there for good and it's just so far away. Yeah, like she's literally all the way on the other side. So this, this is me somewhere in here. And my sister lives on the coast of Oregon somewhere. But I'm really happy for my sister because I know that she's happy. And even if we're far away, you know, it's okay. It just gives me a good excuse to go see Orkin. Um, I would really like to go um, to the West Coast one day because I've never been that far. I've only been as far as Wyoming and my family had moved out there through wolfing. That was just kind of like an adventure we thought we'd do. We like gave everything away, packed up whatever we could fit in the car, and out west we went, you know. So that was that was an adventure in itself, and it was really different. It was kind of like, in a way, being in a different country, because pe the people out there, they're so different. They're American, but they're still so different from the south. So that, w that was fun. That's as, that's as far south, far south. Um, yeah, that was as far west, Blah. I cannot speak English today to save my life. What is wrong with me? But yeah, that was as far west as I have gone. Um, so yeah, coming back from the Kias now, I've still just been kind of um, getting everything together. One thing that has been keeping me really busy is I've started um, painting more and more. I've always been into art and painting, but like I really, really, really would love to open up like an Etsy shop online, which I have been doing, um, just started. And my main inspiration for painting is Switzerland and Europe and Germany because it's so beautiful out there. And I made so many amazing photos and I just was like, I can paint this when I get back. And so I've been really excited to do that. I actually make really miniature paintings. You know what? You know what? I think I'm just going to show you the paintings. They're back here. I have them in my room. Oh. That's uh, kind of a mess. Here, hang on a second. So I got the paintings all set up on these little easels. That's supposed to be Heidi's Alp. I just really loved visiting there. And, um... Yeah, this is what I've been doing, you know. This is of the village I had stayed at in Switzerland. And this is just simply a sunset um, that I made up from my head. And that one I also made up from my head. 
So yeah, I'm hoping that soon I can just, I don't know, it, it just has really inspired me to paint um, things from Switzerland. Usually I'm more of a pencil artist kind of person. I really, really love drawing portraits of people. People are my favorite thing to draw, even if they are kind of a challenge. I don't know, I really like it. And it's only been kind of recent since I started painting, like maybe past, okay, like two, three years, but oh, I was like, ah, I want to try color, you know, because it's different from pencil, you know, the blending of color has always kind of just slightly been a little intimidating, but now that I've dipped my feet into it, I really like it, and so, um, yeah, that's kind of what I've been doing lately. That's really been occupying a lot of my time is um, just painting and stuff, getting, getting all that together, and um, I just really love it because Switzerland has inspired me to paint, light, and create art. So yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to see where my art is going to take me and, you know, who knows, who knows, you know, I just love doing it and it's really fun for me. Anyways, I gotta cut it short because we gotta, we're gonna be getting ready to go eat dinner soon and I gotta get ready. Even though, I'm not exactly hungry yet, man, I swear, for me it's always awkward to end a video. Like, I just don't like ending a video. I don't, I don't want to sound corny. And I don't want to just like end it, like not say bye, but I don't know how to end it.